Just a quick note for all animation videos that you're going to be watching is that um, the software that captures the video actually captures at a frame rate of 10 frames per second. So it's going to look choppy no matter what in these videos, but once you actually run it in your program, you're going to find that things move a lot smoother um, and cleaner. Thanks for listening. So now we're going to learn how to move things around the screen. Now, first we're just going to do it automatically, but uh, later on we'll get it hooked up to buttons and whatnot. But for now, let's just try and get something to move. Now, right now all we're doing is we're drawing the background on the screen, so it's not really that impressive. We don't really have anything to move at this point. Now, to move something, we need to draw it first. So let's quickly draw our second image. So if we're looking at our projects um, inside of our images folder, we're looking at we have the mushroom.png so this is what we're going to draw on the screen so first we got to create a sprite sheet for it sprite sheet and um, in this case I'm just going to call it mush image just to keep things simple and we need to load it down in our memory or down in our load content section so mush image is equal to a new sprite sheet and now we have to do the same command that we did before load image dot from file and specify where it's located in this case it's in images slash uh, sprites slash mushroom dot png so that will actually load it in um, and we need to set up the desk rec for it where it's going to be drawn on the screen and how big it's going to be drawn uh, so mush image dot desk rec. Desk rec is equal to a new rectangle for now let's just kind of throw it somewhere on the screen let's put it at um, I don't know 100 pixels over oops 100 pixels over and we'll put it near the bottom of the screen so let's put it at say 450 pixels down now for a width and height again remember that we can actually detect how big that image is in reality so we could say mush image dot uh, get width oops mush image dot width no, where is it? Where is it? oh frame width sorry frame width and I should be get frame width oh my goodness why is this not working dot get frame width and mush image dot get frame height there we go sorry about that and that will actually get me the original size of the image itself um, so if I go down to draw it let's go down here let's say draw dot sprite uh, graphics gfx followed by mush image So if we go to run our program, we should see the mushroom on the screen at its original 32 by 32 size. That's actually pretty small. It looks like it should be a bit bigger. So we can scale it if we want. Again, all we need to do to scale it is just uh, multiply this desk rex uh, width and height to actually get something effective. So we could say multiply by 1.5. And on the other side, we could do the same thing, multiply by 1.5. Now remember that's going to give us decimal values, but the rectangle can only handle integers. So we have to kind of put some brackets around this and we're going to cast this to an integer. We're going to do the same thing for the other one. So that way the rectangle gets the data type that it actually needs. And what happens to our decimal places? Well, they get cut off, they get truncated. So it's like they don't exist. So now if we run it, it actually looks much more closely to how big it should be. Roughly the same size as one of these squares here. So now that we have the image showing up, let's move it around. So moving it around should be pretty straightforward. All we really need to do is say, draw it a different location. Our different location is specified by desk rec. So all we have to do is modify where desk rec is located. We're not going to change its width or height or any of that. All we're going to do is modify its X and Y. So if I want to move it to the right, I got to change the X value. So if I want to move it right or left, I just change the X value. So let's give it some variables. Let's give it some speed. So up here, I'm going to say, um, let's say x speed is equal to, I don't know, 3. And y speed 
is equal to 5. Well, that's pretty fast. Let's just make that 1, which means it goes to the left and right faster than it goes up or down. So um, we could look at a pretty skewed system here. So right now, what we're going to do is inside of our update, now remember our update happens 60 times per second. Inside of our update, we're going to say move the current dest rec x value by the x speed. So mush image dot dest rec dot x. And we're going to say add to that. So we want to add on top of its current value x speed. So that means every single update, why does this give me an error? Uh, x speed can't be resolved today. Oh, I should probably give that a data type. That would help. Now down here, we actually get some code. So now every single update, it's going to take the current value of x speed, which is 3, and add it to the current value of the x value on the, on the destination rectangle. So if the destination rectangle starts out at 100, after one update, it will be at 103. After two updates, it will be at 106, then 109, so on and so forth. So we should be able to move it, or watch it move now. And you can see it move across the screen. Very straightforward. And we can do the same thing for the y value. I'm just going to copy and paste this. And instead of changing the x, I'm going to change the y by the y speed. Now we're going to say 11. Oh, it's going down. Now remember, we're adding on the y speed, and the y speed is a positive 1. Now remember, y increases as it goes down in, uh, in our graphical programs which means to make it go up, if we wanted that, we would actually have to change our y speed to a negative value. So now if we ran it, we should get slightly different results. You can see it actually move across the screen um, at a fairly slow pace, but it's definitely moving uh, to the right faster than it's moving up or down. And again, we could modify these speeds. If I wanted to make it move up faster, I would just have to make sure my y speed is faster than or bigger than my x speed. We run this and we see you shoot at a much higher angle or a much uh, steeper angle. So that's the basic of how to add, uh, how to make something move at a consistent pace. Now think about this for a second though. Let's say I put them, let's say I'm just moving in the x direction. We're just going to try and keep something simple. And we're going to move by one pixel. That means that that's the minimum value we can add to this because these are all integers. We're just going to comment out the second line for now. So that means this is the slowest it can possibly move. What if that's still too fast? Well, that's what we're going to get into next.